how to send crypto from Trust Wallet into Binance or any other centralized exchange. Step one is to find out which blockchain your asset is on. So if you scroll down to your asset, I've got some BNB here. If I click this up at the top, it says BNB Smart Chain. That's the blockchain that this asset is on. So as you can see, stable coins exist on many different chains. So just check your asset. Beside it, it will give you the logo of the blockchain and the name of the blockchain. And so that's the blockchain it's on. Step two is to make sure that Binance actually accepts this asset on this chain. So I'm going to go over to Binance, go over to my spot account here in wallets, and then just search for the asset right here. So I've got BNB, so I'm going to click BNB. Then down here at the bottom right, it says deposit. And then we can choose the network. Now, like I said, mine was on BNB Smart Chain, it told me, and that's at the top. So BNB Smart Chain, that is the blockchain that I'm using, and Binance obviously accepts this coin. So I can click into this and actually get my deposit address. Step three is to check that you have enough gas for the transaction from your trust wallet into your Binance. This will be a blockchain transaction and we need to pay a gas fee. Each blockchain has its own gas coin, the layer one coin. So for BNB chain, that's BNB. For Ethereum, that's ETH. For Solana, that's Sol. For Tron, that's TRX and so on. So if you don't have any of the layer one coin in your wallet, you won't be able to send that coin or any of the coins built on top. So stable coins, make sure you know the gas coin and that you have some in your wallet. If you're sending a layer one coin, for example, BNB here, you pay the gas and send the money at the same time, so it doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna copy my Binance address and send that transaction out. So I have my address here, that deposit address I'm going to copy and then go over to my trust wallet, choose the coin, so BNB at the top, and right here I'm gonna press send, and then it says address or domain. I'm just gonna paste in my wallet address right here and it's checked it and there aren't any errors. And how much do you actually want to send? And this is in the coin, right? So uh, an amount that we can send right here, any amount that you wanna put in, I'm gonna press done, then next. And then from here, it's gonna give me the details to check and the gas fee. So you can see the assets right here is BNB, and that's on the BNB smart chain, that's from my wallet to my Binance account wallet. The network fee right here is $0.01 or one cent and the BNB amount, that's actually what you paid in, and the max total as you can see down here. So I'm gonna press confirm. If you have face ID or anything like that, or a passcode, you'll have to put that in right now. But that says processing as you can see. If you click transaction details down here, it's gonna take you through to the blockchain explorer and you can actually see the transaction on the blockchain. If there are any errors or something like that, you can actually see the blockchain explorer. So we'll just uh, see that right here. And it says pending for right now, but it says view on blockchain explorer. So you can go there. And if there are any issues, this is actually going to tell you what's up. Now, if you're sending a coin like Bitcoin or Ethereum, or maybe a coin that is um, at the moment a network that's very busy, then it may take a while to actually process and go through. So you may have to wait a while. If that's the case, then beside the coin, you should see a number or an alert and it will actually say, the network is busy right now, we're waiting to process the transaction. So if that's happening, you'll just have to wait for that to actually go through on the blockchain. If you go back to your Binance account now, go to your wallets in the bottom right, and then top left, go to overview. And just down here, you can see a log of transactions and it says crypto deposit of some BNB, that's completed.